Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Kai. Order. Excuse me. Excuse me, honorable member. Please give me time to speak. Order. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity you have given me. And as I stand here as a Muslim, I don't know when I'll die. In case I die before the impeachment time, I vote yes, the Shagwa must go. Mr. Speaker, I will take you to the Bible, Proverbs 23, 10, verse 11. And it says, please keep quiet. And it says, don't move an old stone that marks a border. And don't take fields that belong to the orphans. God, their defender, is strong. He will take their side against you. I want Gashagwa to know, the former deputy president of Kenya should know, that when you touch anything of the orphans, it is not Kenya Kwanza, it is not Azimio, but it is God all the mighty that will pull the fire on you. I will return to the Quran. The Holy Quran in Surah An-Nisa said, Surely, those who eat up property of the orphans unjustly, they only eat fire into their bellies, and soon they will enter a blazing fire. I am telling the former deputy president of Kenya that you have eaten fire into your belly, and the fire will surely burn you. Mr. Speaker, as I finish, Mr. Speaker, I have heard that the deputy president has 21 lawyers. How much does the deputy president earn to have 21 lawyers? And I understand each lawyer is paid 10 million. And I'm telling Kenyans, it is your taxpayers' money. Your time is up. Rueda. Honorable members, we are, order. we are coming to an end. Order, honorable members. I've given the floor to member for Lamu East. Asante wana speaker. Wana speaker umoja wa taifa ni muhimu sana na vile ilivyofanyika na naibu wa rais ilionekana kwamba hakuna umoja. Nataka ieleweke kwamba watu wa mlima wanaishi sehemu zingine. Kule pwangu kiunga niko na watu wa mlima na kile wanachoona zaidi ni sand dunes. Hawaoni mlima wanaona bahari ni mki Uh, nataka ni seme ile kuzungumzia kuhusu NIS ilikuwa ni grave mistake wamekosea sana afadhali angetaja Nurdin kama akona shida naye kuliko institution ya NIS ni kutufanya sisi tukae <coughs> dhaifu katika maadui zetu kwa mfano alshabab wataona vipi sisi kama tuko weak ingine nasema ukiwa unatukana mwanamke na tena hii ikuwe kwa mtu yote yule anatukana mwanamke Ajue mwanamume yote anatukana mwanamke mashimo yako saba kwa kila mtu alioumbwa wanaume wanayo wanawake wanayo kama ni malaya basi ni wote wanaweza kutumia kwa malaya hii jina ya malaya nimechoka kusikia <coughs> ingine <coughs> ingine <coughs> naulizwa naulizwa mashimo ni haya mawili ya pua ya masikio ya mdomo no, na yale mengine mawili kila mtu ako nayo <coughs> ingine nataka niseme sisi tunafundishwa kiislamu kuheshimu wajane na mayatima ikiwa kuna mtu haiheshimu majane na mayatima basi airusiwi kidini yetu <laughs> asante bwana speaker <laughs> order member for kipipiri take your seat yes uh, milemba Honorable Speaker, thank you for this. The mood in the house is such that it's already five. And Honorable Speaker, it's my plea to you that the country is weary. We move to the next stage so that we may hear the Deputy President speak. Remember, this is a motion which has timelines. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Order, members. If you listen to the Speaker, When I called out member for Lamu East, I said she was going to be the last one on this. So she is indeed the last one on this. The interaction on the motion. Order. Order members. The interaction of members on the motion has been... Uh, 
very, very intense. Order honorable members. Member for Machakos. Keep your cool, mommy. Keep your cool. Yes, keep your cool. The members who have spoken are many. It is not possible for each and every one of us to speak on the same motion. For those who have spoken, I appreciate you for your tremendous industry for and against the motion. Now His Excellency the Deputy President is in the chamber and he is accompanied, I believe, by his legal team or assistants. We will now move to the next stage. You remember I had advised the House Order Joyce Kamene. This is not a moment where the speaker can exercise the option to exclude you from proceedings, but I know you differently. You are normally a very dignified person. I don't know what is the problem today. I want to urge the House that as we move to this stage, you remember we said at five, the deputy president had been assigned two hours in accordance with the standing orders. The standing orders say not more than two hours. So he may exercise to spend the two hours or less as he wishes. Secondly, once he finishes, then the minority leader, majority leader, will take the floor as we had agreed. After that, then the mover will be invited to reply. And after that, you will go into a voting session. Your Excellency, once you finish, you have the option to remain in the House or to leave because you'll have spent your time as allocated by the House. I want to encourage you members to maintain your silence, to maintain your decorum, and to maintain the dignity of both the House and yourselves in listening to the subject to this motion, who is the Deputy President of the country. And I invite you, Your Excellency, you have a choice. You have a choice between speaking yourself or speaking through your legal counsel. Yes, uh, come Kate, what is out of order? Your Excellency, you may take your seat. Let him Mr. Speaker, while 